you know, wounded by frag, just keep firing, just ignoring the fact that they were drawing fire themselves. It was certainly uh, an amazing squadron effort. This is vision from that day, but what we hadn't heard until now is just how tough the Battle of Shawali Kot was. Around 25 Aussie diggers versus 100 Taliban insurgents, and our troops were under heavy fire. It's a feeling most of us would never experience, but when there's bullets flying everywhere and your life and your mate's lives are on the line, what goes through your head at that exact point? I think for uh, everyone there, including myself, what's going through your mind is that uh, you, won't, you just won't let your mates down. It's just like being on a football team, you know, you don't let your mates down, you go as hard as you can until, uh, until the game's won. It was a 10 hour gunfight. Corporal Robert Smith is said to have shown total disregard for his own safety by standing up to draw fire away from his comrades and then charging and taking out two Taliban machine gunners before finally clearing a path through a valley bottleneck. That was uh, the breaking point and from there we fought for another, you know, six hours and every single boat in that, uh, in that troop, as I said earlier, was at some stage fighting for their life. Only 98 Australians have ever been honoured with a Victoria Cross and just two of those have been in the last 40 years. But of all of the heroes to be recognised, Corporal Robert Smith is the only one to have also been awarded a medal for gallantry, which he won back in 2006. That now makes him the single most decorated member of our Defence Forces. Corporal, you are not invincible. You are human. Extraordinarily and exceptionally so. Such is the corporal standing now that even the Chief of the Defence Force must salute him. It's a rare honour also afforded to his good friend and fellow Victoria Cross winner, Corporal Mark Donaldson. Given that you've got a wife and two young kids here, how much hesitation do you have to return to battle? Being a father, as every father knows, you know, I think about my children every minute of the day and that's, uh, that's actually what I do it for. I'm just very proud to do my job I do so that my kids will grow up and know that. Well, we're lucky to have